Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the Core Web Vitals optimization that I have done. I'm still on my path of still improving the Core Web Vitals, but from the past it has improved. As you can see here, I'm already getting some at least half, I can say, of my website in the good area. There are some pages that they still need improvement, but if we go here, like let's, let's check out here on the search console. This is the weird things that I have noticed on the PageSpeed Insights that even if you get green numbers on the PageSpeed Insights uh, levels or numbers like above the 90s, you might even still show these yellow uh, or long issues, especially on, on the LCP. But here you can see that I'm getting a 92 and even a 100 and the Core Web Vitals will still show the yellow numbers, but for some other pages, they will show the good URLs. It took for me uh, probably uh, at least five months since I did the optimizations. We probably already know that Google Search Console takes time for all the SEO optimizations and, and so on. And especially if you have low or medium traffic, it comparing comparing to a higher uh, traffic website, it will probably be faster. But for some smaller websites or medium websites, it will take longer. And as you can see here, finally, it's showing that I have probably almost my hundred percent as good URLs. If you can see here, way in the past, I think I did the optimization around June, July. And it took a while. I really like probably by August here we can see that it was already checking out that my website was okay for Google Search Console, even if my page speeds way in the past, like around June. I already had the hundreds. Probably in another video I already talk about how I get the hundred. And I do the recommendation of of if you have tested out by yourself, trying some different plugins in for WordPress. And you might have been around the 50 to 89 range. Then that might be stressful. So that was also my case. And I prefer to hire for a freelancer from Fiverr. And just as a recommendation, the plugins that you can use are this one, the asset cleanup. It helps you if you use Elementor as a page builder or even Divi to set aside some of the, uh, let's say, code that you might not use or some of the widgets. And also another important plugin that was installed was Statically that also shows up uh, or set up all the static assets to set up on a CDN. And we have also WP Rocket. So to show you the settings, let me go do a quick here preview that I basically or the optimization was done here using the asset cleanup C optimization CSS for the minification and also the combination of the loaded CSS. As I said, I didn't do by myself this um, optimization of, of the speed. It was done by a freelancer from Fiverr. I will also let down on the description or if you also want to try it by yourself, this is just for merely showing you what you can do or what also you can test out for optimization your speed so that you can also eventually optimize for the Core Web Vitals that I, I have seen already some improvements on my search results. So of course it's a advantage of having a good speed on your website. It is also well remarkable to say the WebP, if you haven't optimized your images, also WebP is also on a trend to add to your website so that it's a faster image loading. And of course, let me go here to the settings and WP Rocket to show you that as well, the how is the configuration settings. Let's go here to the cache. It's only enabled for mobile devices. And here on the file optimization, the CSS files are set up for the asset cleanup. 
and the javascripts are mainly for the minify and to load the javascript does differ and the delay also if we go to the media the lazy load for images iframe and images or youtube iframes it's also set up and also the image dimensions and the embeds basically for any other preloads here we can see the configuration you can test out by yourself if you already have the up rocket and also the cleanups of the databases so basically those are the main speed optimization plugins that i'm using and as you can see i already having good results on the page speed insights i'm still waiting or see how can i still improve and one thing that i'm i want to talk about is also the use of uh, good hosting there are many several vps available uh, the one that i'm using is cloudways because it has been easier to use wordpress on on this website on cloudways because you can connect with different hosting providers or cloud providers like DigitalOcean, Linode, Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud. The one that I am using is the Vulture High Frequency. Uh, it starts with 13, but if you go directly to the Vulture website, you can also do that. And it's also, well, it might require a little bit more of configuration, but it's easy. But I prefer to use Cloudways. It's the one, the first that I, I heard and I'm staying there because it's easy, really easy to scale. Also here, but as I said, you might need a little bit of more technical skills to do the configuration. But if you can see here, if you go directly to Volter, you're paying $6 per month and you're getting the 32 gigabytes of storage bandwidth of one terabyte and RAM of one gigabyte or one, yeah, one gigabyte. And if you go here, you can also see that it's the same packages for double the price. But here you're paying like for Cloudway support um, for that, that ease of use of WordPress on Cloudways. So I, actually it's basically the same service, but you're paying different the, the support. But it's important to know that or to say that if you are using this type of VPS, it's really easy to scale as you keep growing. Either if you go for Cloudways, DigitalOcean, or any other, you can scale up your power, your server power, and you can, if you are getting more visitors, then you can improve that performance of your website and eventually also improve that speed optimization. As you can see, I'm already seeing better results, still needs improvements, and probably I need more time to see the that search console already sees that i'm getting the loading times as i want well at least is what is here in the numbers but that's some tips to do the core web vitals optimization if you have any questions don't hesitate to round down in the comments thanks for watching